hacks. Imagine somebody can hack your phone and all they need to know about you is your cell phone number. That's exactly what this flaw in Android phones allows people to do. They just send you a text message with a picture. You don't even have to open up the text and it allows the other person to get into your phone, wipe the phone clean if they want, access all of your apps, and probably scariest of all, access the camera on your phone. I want to show you some video from Israel. I was just there a few months ago doing reporting on cybersecurity, and I went to the AVG company, that's the antivirus company, their offices in Tel Aviv. They did something similar, sending a text message to an Android phone that I was using, and they recorded the entire interview that I was doing with one of the executives of that company from the cell phone without me even knowing. Now, we're, of course, just talking about Android phones here, but remember, the vast majority of people use Android, and the researchers that discovered this flaw say about 95% of Android phones are susceptible. So, Max, we're talking about 950 million people who are at risk. So how do they protect themselves, crucially? Well, what's interesting here is, of course, Google owns Android, and Google tells us they acknowledge the problem and they actually have a patch for it. But what's different from Apple, remember, Apple owns, uh, makes both the phone and the software, so they can push out updates in a much easier fashion. Google sells Android to phone manufacturers, so Google has pushed out this update to phone manufacturers, and now it's on them, and we don't know if the phone manufacturers have pushed it out or not. So it shows the increased security concerns that Android users have, and also shows that when you get those annoying updates to restart Windows, or in this case, to update Android, you definitely want to do them because you don't want the camera on your phone spying on you without you knowing it.